Very good morning to you. Welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel from Calkine Studios in Sydney. Now, the Australian share market is expected to open lower today. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.2% fall. Yesterday, the market closed 0.09% higher at 7,122. In business news from this morning, supermarket giant Woolworths has seen annual revenue rise by almost 6% to $64.3 billion, with after-tax profit up nearly 5% to $1.62 billion. Net profit was down at 9.6% to $1.62 billion, and profit from continuing operations is up 4.6% to $1.62 billion. Now, final dividend of 58 cents a share, fully franked. That's up 9.4%. Woolworths Group CEO Brad Banducci says, looking ahead to financial year 2024, we expect food inflation in Australia and New Zealand to continue to moderate, but will likely remain elevated in some package categories. They also expect consumer environment to remain challenging with customers continuing to cut back on non-essential items. WiseTech Global today announced its financial results for the 12 months ending 30th of June with total revenue of $816.8 million, up 29% on the 2022 financial year. Financial year 2023 started net profit after tax of $212.2 million was up 9%. An underlying impact of $247.6 million was up 30%. The board declared a final dividend of 8.4 cents per share and that was up 31%. WiseTech founder and CEO Richard White says he's proud to announce a strong financial 2023 financial performance reflecting the expansion of their product offering, ongoing financial discipline and enhanced operating leverage as they further penetrate their chosen markets and execute their 3P strategy. This is down to the exceptional WiseTech team, their passion, dedication and work ethic, he said. Leading Australian energy infrastructure business, the APA Group has entered into a share sale agreement with Alinta Powercat and Alinta Energy Development to acquire 100% of Alinta Energy Pilbara Holdings and Alinta Energy for an enterprise value $1,722 million. Alinta Energy Pilbara is an energy infrastructure business underpinned by contracted operational assets. The balance of the purchase price will be funded by new debt facilities established in connection with the acquisition of $993 million. Well, let's take a short break here. I'll be back soon with more news set to affect your trading day. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Calkine Media's growing platform, Calkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Calkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guestteam at calkine.com.au. Welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel Jones. Now, the S&P 500 edged 0.3% lower, while the Dow Jones Industrial Average slid 0.5%. The Nasdaq Composite rose 0.06%. Now, European markets closed higher. London's FTSE added 0.18%, Frankfurt gained 0.66%, and Paris closed 0.59% higher. Turning to Asian markets now, Tokyo's Nikkei added 0.92%, Hong Kong's Hang Seng gained 0.95%, while China's Shanghai Composite closed 0.88% higher. Well, that's the latest from the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.